Let me paint a scenario for you. You're ill and you go for a test and the result looks just like this. Everyone talks about drug abuse, but there's not much talk about drug misuse, especially antibiotics. We went to the streets of Lagos to find out why Nigerians take antibiotics, Bichams and Picloks to be precise, and they had a lot of interesting things to say. Take a look at this. What's up guys? I'm in Ikeja, Computer Village to be precise. Today we just want to find out what people know about their antibiotics um, and ask them a few questions relating to their health. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Okay, so Charles, do you take antibiotics? Yes, Big I, champs take it. I do take it, well, well. Okay, so how do you take it? I take it after meeting any uh, my girlfriend, after meeting my girlfriend. I used to take it. Okay. Okay, so why do you take it after meeting with your girlfriend? I meet it because if there is any disease okay. inside they will just dry it up. And if there is any any problem, like uh, as we meet, I don't like using condom to any person. So if I after using it, then I will give it to her so that she will not complain, say this one happened or that one happened. You understand? I will just give that to her. If there is any call after the 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 meeting, I will just answer her with confidence. <laughs> but if I know get her for house, I know fit I am. So when when you give it to her, do you like tell her how to use it or how do you use it when you're taking it? Do you like take it once a day or every time after meeting? I just give her for once. After meeting her, I just give her. You just take it. Yes, that is how I, I use it. So when you have maybe severe pain in any part of your body, not just pain, pain, but maybe your ears, specific places actually, you have to take this shower. What do you know about Ampiclox? What do you use it for? How do you take it? They use it for mental treatment, for disease, and usually dry blood. When you use it, finish, you use it with blood tonic also. Okay, okay. So, what kind of diseases actually? You mentioned diseases. What kind of diseases? I'm like trashing body. Okay. Like maybe your menstrual pain is not rushing. You use it for dead sea. So, you push out the dead sea outside. And you can also use it for. If they can preside it for you in the hospital. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So you can also use it. But what do you use Apiclox for? As I use Apiclox for maybe um, watches or something like that, but I use maybe I'm, when I'm not playful, I have a, I, I don't know, maybe I have a dick or something like that. I use this for, I use Apiclox. Okay, okay, so when you use Apiclox, how do you take it? As in, it depends how the told me to take it. But maybe can say should take two in the morning and two in the night. Okay, and who asked you to take it like that? Hmm? Who asked you to take it like that? Maybe when I go to pharmacies. Okay, so a pharmacist asked you to take two yes. apricots in the morning and turn it? Yes, it's true. And the only thing is for pregnancies, I can remember. They use it for pregnancies? Maybe when you do this. You, do you take um, Ampiclox? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. All right. So how do you take it? I know Ampiclox is a very powerful antibiotic. Uh -huh. So there are some they said 500, there are some they said 800 and 1000, depending on the the the, the component. Okay. So Ampiclox, I know you use it to fight some diseases in the body. Okay. So that is why me myself, whenever I feel a sign of infection, okay. I take it. Okay. And welcome back to Ask Adat's Day, a YouTube channel where we discuss health issues that you're too scared to share. My name is Ada, I'm your host, and today I'll be having a guest. Yes, it promises to be a very exciting episode as we'll be discussing something that uh, is very prevalent in Nigeria and it's causing us a lot of issues in the health sector. And what am I talking about? It's antibiotics resistance. An antibiotic is an antimicrobial substance that's used to prevent or treat bacterial infections. Yes, they work by inhibiting the growth of bacteria or simply killing them. Now, there are several classes of antibiotics with different ranges of um, activity or spectrum of activity. We have the narrow spectrum ones which uh, your healthcare provider will prescribe to you 
if they know the particular causative bacteria. And then we have the broad spectrum one. Now, what's the proper way to take antibiotics? First of all, you have to go for a test at a lab. Now, the test results will show you what you're resistant to or what you're sensitive to. And usually, it's the one you're sensitive to that's going to be prescribed to you. Now, some people have developed resistance to a whole lot of antibiotics, and that's because they've overused, misused, or underused the antibiotics. Antibiotics resistance is a phenomenon that occurs when the bacteria develops the ability to fight off the drug that was designed to destroy it. The bacteria is then empowered to fight off the drug and then multiply. This is what my guest and I will be discussing on the show today. But before she comes on, let's go on a quick break. You're welcome back and with me is Nonso. Nonso, hi. hi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Nonso is a pharmacist and we've been friends since med school, yeah? That's been over six, seven years. Yeah, exactly. Like how time flies. <laughs> how time flies, yeah. So today we're talking about antibiotics resistance. Yeah. So tell us, why should everyone out there care about it? Um, antibiotic resistance is actually a very serious issue in this country in Nigeria um, a lot of people do not understand they just feel like uh, okay I will go to the pharmacy and just tell them I need I need I mean, an antibiotic for example exactly. yeah I, not that's like the main thing they always ask for bitter and they do not understand that it's causing more harm than good to the body they just feel like oh if I have a headache or um, I just met with a woman they want to use bitter Yes, talk about meeting with a woman. There was a man in the interview, you watched it, yeah? yeah so, so there was a man there who said that before he meets his babe or after he meets <laughs> his babe, please, for the record, Ampicot <laughs> is not a contraceptive. It does not oh. prevent um, STIs. You know, you can't just take a one of those. And you know, the very annoying thing, have you seen people who come and ask you for, not, not for a strip now, for a <laughs> capsule? I, They'll I tell you, can you sell me a capsule? <laughs> this is not even a funny issue because most people do not understand this and that's why we need to educate a lot of people on this issue and because Bicham, because they don't even when you even say they can't what do you even mean, pronounce ampiclox, they like, just tell you bicham or purple and black. You, exactly, <laughs> and they expect you to know what you, they want. And then when you try to educate them or ask them what they want to use it for, they start being defensive Most or secretive. It's exactly. none of your business. Like I'm supposed to help you, or we are supposed to. We in the medical field are supposed to help you to understand that it's not supposed to be used for every and anything. Exactly. There's specific things you're supposed to use. Ampicox for. Exactly. Or antibiotics generally. You cannot just be using it or just because you have a flu or, you know, it's, it's not done. Yeah, talking about flu, flus are viral infections. Exactly. I don't know where you guys got the, um, that information that you can take Ampicox for that or any antibiotics in general. You're not supposed to. It's not going to take care of viral infections or fungal infections. So you, you really need to take a test and know exactly what the antibiotic is supposed to treat. So now, so how does bacteria become, you know, resistant? Okay, so the bacteria will neutralize the antibiotic or pump it out. Yes, and then there are some that mutate. Exactly. Yes, and when they mutate, the, the antibiotic can't find a way to attach to the bacteria and kill it. When this resistance happens, the bacteria just keeps multiplying, you know, wrecking yeah. more havoc in your system. Exactly. And you don't want any of that. Now let's go back to the video. There was a man who said that he takes antibiotics when there's a sign of infection in his body. <laughs> but, but did that make you laugh? That was really funny. That, that, it was just hilarious. <laughs> I don't understand what he means by when he feels a sign of infection like how do you what, feel a exactly, sign of infection like what exactly are you talking about are you feeling a sign of infection in a way that oh you are coughing or what I don't understand I what mean. he meant but really you do not exactly know so then he said that when he feels a sign of infection he takes ampicrox yeah you don't even know the bacterial infection in exactly that's why you need to go to the lab and then do a test 
and then we, the, the test shows I'm sure you it shows the sensitivity and yes the and the resistance yes yeah, so then that's when you know the particular antibiotic to take the, the problem is that a lot of Nigerians think they know it all and True. they do not want to go to a healthcare provider a healthcare professional and to, even when they go to a healthcare professional they don't even want your advice exactly they, they just tell you tell my you grandma said want. yeah or my mom said that's how we do it that's how we've been taking it exactly yeah. and that's and not that's all right and exactly so this is not the first time i've heard that like a lot of time <laughs> and then you're there and you're trying to explain to them that please calm down let me educate you and then they feel like oh are you trying to tell me i didn't go to school if you have any okay if you actually even feel like you have some you know yeah you should go to a healthcare professional and, and explain speak to the person, yeah. yeah then you do a test because they would always refer you to do a test to, true to know exactly what is wrong with you you cannot just sit in your house and then feel some type of way or have headache or feel like pain somewhere yeah, though, the guy who said that he, when he has body aches mm -hmm. uh, like i'm sure those are part of the things they mean when they say i feel yeah. some sort of infection and you do not self-medicate when it comes to antibiotics you do preach not. preach oh my god <laughs> you preach. really do not self-medicate i, yeah, I you wish shouldn't. a lot of people can watch this so that they can be educated in the sense that there's so many times people do this and they do not understand what is going on they go to labs and then when they actually get a test and when they do a test or they get tested they see a lot of hours and they're like and they don't even understand mean? yes when you're done taking the test you're actually supposed to take it back to your healthcare provider or professional to yeah. interpret exactly people some people don't know that they just do the test they take it out then they just i don't yeah. i don't know like, i don't understand most times they just do the test because maybe someone said go, go, go and, and do a test. test you get and then when they come to the pharmacy they try to play smart and then they're like yes i've done the test and it shows that i should take big and big cooks true Why are you trying to be smart it's your health it's I'm it's your to body you. yeah we're here to help you that's why we're healthcare professionals then there are ladies who claim that ampi clocks you know helps them flush <laughs> out whatever it is that flushes after out <laughs> yeah after sex you know you hear that a lot for the records <laughs> and the clocks is a contraceptive oh my god i don't know why you'd expose yourself to all these diseases and then just think that you can pop and a pill and it all thing, goes away after they take that they come and then they take the ampi clocks or they ask for it they don't even try to do a test to even True. know they just feel like ampi clocks is the magic shine so whatever it is that the guy must have given me or given them or well, oh, you might have them. given the guy exactly <laughs> then he washes it away and then you hear things like i want to wash my blood and pick clothes let me say it in a way they say and pick i want to wash my blood yeah that guy that says that he, he, he doesn't like condoms so yeah, yeah he doesn't like condoms so he takes it before and after meeting with his babe oh my god <laughs> and a lot of they abuse this thing they misuse it because ampicops is supposed to be taken six hourly yes that's four that's times a day and then you're for five days that when you want to meet a girl you take it oh she's coming you take it and then afterwards you take it and that's all they stop it you're not even Why? using it for the right reasons exactly to start place, with yeah and then you're not even using it properly jeez like really though and since we're talking about ampiclox what exactly does it contain and what's it used for ampiclox is a combination of ampicillin and cloxacillin yes in a capsule it's exactly. a penicillin antibiotic exactly so it can be used for gonorrhea yes pneumonia it, yeah ENT. that's ear nose, nose and throat, throat infections yeah meningitis exactly have you said gonorrhea yeah yes you have mm -hmm. okay yes yeah, so you know stuff like and that skin skin tissue skin yes. and soft tissue infection exactly. yeah that's true so it, these are the things you can use it for so i don't see or hear any headaches there no headaches it's not a painkiller <laughs> and a lot of people do not even want to read the leaflet or even like just check the i don't blame them it's bulky <laughs> yeah, it, it it's is, really it's really then, is. i think you can actually but, just go on the internet because a lot of people use their phones okay, and then they just okay. want to check other things but they don't want to check things about their health okay i'll stop you there because 
even when people read up stuff on the internet they they, they they don't understand it I know the internet is a scary place in the sense that anybody can just go and put up stuff exactly, up there actually. yeah so it's just best that you discuss with your healthcare professional yeah that's perfect that's really perfect but a lot of people do not want to yeah or don't want to admit that they are ignorant i think that's that's a major <laughs> issue with nigerians nobody <laughs> wants to I say, say that they don't know I, yeah exactly everybody wants to say show their you know, <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you ask for directions on the road and they're like please where, where is this place they don't want to tell you they don't know the yeah they want to say oh just go just and go. you keep going straight down you never get to the place <laughs> oh my god oh, no, so that's so funny <laughs> No, but seriously, honestly, it's true. It's true. You, you know, you can actually just say you don't know. Can you, you explain be, to me? You won't be killed for it. You wouldn't because it's your health. Let me tell you what happens. It's just like the the um the picture of the test results that I put up earlier. You can see that the person is resistant to a lot of things. Everything. And Everything. It's a, it's amazing. <laughs> now, just imagine this person has maybe some accident or something, and you know you need to prescribe an antibiotic that will stop True. the growth of the bacteria, and so that the person can heal faster. And then you're resistant to all these antibiotics. Mm -hmm. You need Jesus. I swear. You need Jesus. <laughs> because to be what, to be you, you've already handicapped the the doctor or the surgeon. Yeah. You're resistant to everything, so the bacteria just goes on wrecking havoc everywhere, and multiplying most of these people do not know um what the doctors go through especially in the surgery room or theater. yeah okay so i think we've covered most of yeah. um, the important points so do you have any parting words for my subscribers um do not skip your doses true do don't not. skip your dose and if you by chance forget take it when you remember yeah, exactly. and then just you know continue do not there. take someone else's antibiotics because yes don't share like yeah and there are people forward. who have that true true that's that's so correct do not do that please whenever you have any any um health concerns <laughs> just talk to your healthcare professional exactly do not save your antibiotics because you didn't finish it the last time it's for a period of time you have to finish it for that period of time don't say oh because i didn't finish it the last time let me sharply take it for this one that oh you let me continue it. from where it stopped yes, yeah do not do that and when you have leftover antibiotics safely dispose them yes you don't want to just keep it lying around and then someone just picks it up and just takes yeah none of that ampiclox antibiotics they are not painkillers true they are not contraceptives <laughs> like, <laughs> they don't wash your blood they don't wash your sins away yeah, exactly <laughs> if you want to cleanse your system then the detoxifiers yes i think we should discuss that in another episode yeah, we should we should because a lot of people just go about know. with junk in their bodies and your system <laughs> <laughs> drunk in their body. it's true now <laughs> yeah we should we should actually do that yeah, yeah. That, that would be very educating again don't take antibiotics for viral infections if you're having cold or flu symptoms there are drugs for that yeah, you, don't you don't need you antibiotics some people do not know that cold flu are viral infections true they, they feel like they are i don't know what they as long as they are sick they just want antibiotics i think that's it yes. if they're having if they're coming down with the fever antibiotics, antibiotics. you know when you can take a simple maybe paracetamol true. And be fine for fever true but you just want to take bicha it's actually psychological funny enough people yeah feel people like just think when when they take it they are they're yeah, good fine. and it works for people actually some people feel like that's the way that they're going to be better and you know a lot of you don't know that for the minor ailments that you're having or the symptoms minor symptoms are you showing you don't need heavy duty drugs to take care of those yeah yes exactly so you don't use it when um if you're pregnant i think you need to consult a healthcare professional before taking any before antibiotics taking any, any antibiotics of any sort great so i hope you've been able to take away a thing or two from today's discussion i would like to say thank you to nonto for making our time to thank come through today me. thank <laughs> you guys for listening yeah so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel turn on notifications and share you never know who these videos might help exactly. so till i come away next time take care of your health and of each other bye, bye.